Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode from, from zero to gold cap on a brand new fresh server. Let's get into it. So in today's episode, I think we're going to be focusing on getting mining up, mining a whole heap of ore from different places, um, farming some rares and also treasures along the way. I think that's what we're going to be doing. And then after that, our main goal is to get up blacksmithing. So we're going to keep all of the ore that we get from our mining and use that to level up our blacksmithing and help basically fund getting up our blacksmithing. So let's get into it. First things first, we're going to have to drop our skinning. Goodbye skinning. You done us well. You made us a lot of gold. But we're moving on. <laughs> Anyways, let's get let's go get mining. Okay, so let's learn it. Yes, we want to learn and cataclysm. Alright, awesome. So we can smelt um, obsidian already. We need to get a mining axe. I mean a mining pick. What's it called? Yeah, mining pick, my bad. Alright, so we'll clear out bags, we'll put up this transmog item up in the auction house while we need buy. So let's serve all this trash right here. We don't need none of that. We do want to keep that. And we can disenchant them too. Perfect, perfect. Oh, we got a double. A double enchantment dropper up. So we'll post up these these leggings. How much are they worth on our server? Because it's a low pop, it might be worth a lot. Sixteen thousand. It's pretty good. Uh, let's skip that. Skip. Post that. Post that. All right, I sorted. Okay, so we're gonna need some copper to start leveling the blacksmithing. So we'll go farm a bit of that. So we'll just come out the front of. Stormwind right here. We should be able to farm a whole heap of it. Yeah, it's it's everywhere here. So we'll just follow around basically the outskirts. We'll get any treasures too that we come across and kill any rares. So let's get to it. So we're gonna actually be getting XP from doing this mining. That is why we are doing this at the moment. Oh we're gonna have to kill this guy. Alrighty. So, for an example, if you didn't know, when you do mining, or herb, or anything like that, you actually get XP. So we're going to try and do some leveling while doing this, and making some gold along the way. Now that we have fast flying, it's going to really, really make it worth doing, so we'll give it a go. Oh, we got our first rare, just here. Hopefully we can get something good off him, fingers crossed. Do we get anything good? That is the question. Nah, <laughs> four gold, bam, not off this one. Our first treasure, what are we getting from it? What? <laughs> that is so wrong. The value on that is way off. <laughs> oh my god, I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyways, that is complete, that won't sell for that. No way. Anyways, back to mining. Alright, so we've got a decent amount of our copper ore here. We've got 59 of them, we'll grab 60, just make it a good number. I think we're gonna fly into the next zone here. We'll, um, we'll check all the rares, see if any of the rares are up, and we'll also mine some iron and some copper. Ooh, jackpot, we just got these out of a chest. Awesome. So our first little, uh, like a good item. So this goes for the region market value is about 7,000 gold, but on my server, it goes for 33,000 gold. So that is really, really good. So we got that from a chest, a random chest that we found just here, so that is awesome. Our first bit of tin, oh nice, we got some silver ore. So basically what I'm doing is just flying around, getting all the mining herbs and checking for all the rare spawns. So if any rare spawns are up, we kill them, see if we get any good loot, and also the treasure chests, I also check for them too. And we got level 41 just coming in then. From all of the mining XP and the um, discovered like new land 
XP. So that is awesome. The mining XP is really adding up. Like you get a fair bit every single time that you actually mine. You get a fair bit of XP. As you can see, 800 XP, and we got oh, we got lucky. We got two silver ore just there. So our ores are starting to add up, which is really really good. All right, guys. So we've moved down into the next place here. So down into northern stranglethorn and we're gonna see what we can get here we'll get a whole heap of tin we'll get all the chests and we'll see if any rares are up also all right guys we've got another chest come on what do we got ah oh, yes another rare awesome oh we're in combat we'll check it we'll check it after this all right so this is the item we just got this pole arm so my server is going for a few k looks pretty cool that is awesome another rare of the crates what did we get just then oh we got a sword awesome that's um oh my we might die here oh god nah we're right we're right we're good all right awesome so these chests are really paying off every single one we're getting a, a decent item okay so this is the sword we got so in my server it's going for currently 6k gold so that's about what they go for these swords so awesome so three really good items to sell transmog items and we've got a whole heap of ore so far okay so i think we've cleared everything here we've checked all, all the boss bosses and uh, all the rares and all the chests i think we're going to head over to blasted lands now so we'll do that right now all right so that is blasted lands done so let's move on up to the next zone. Okay, so we'll get some mithril ore now from this zone right here. We'll see if any of the chests are up or any of the rares. And we'll just go around the whole outside. All right, we need one more mining herb. And we have, we have a level. So we get, oh, we're gonna get in combat here, damn it. Well, this might give us a level. Either way, we're gonna get level, what are we? So we're gonna get level 42 right here. We've been getting a whole heap of XP from um, from mining actually, just from the mining herbs we've been getting like a level every half an hour or so, like it's been really, really good XP and good money. Alright, awesome. We've got level 42. Let's get it. So we're using gather gather make two to um see all these things right here and the other add-on is called silver silver dragon and that just basically shows any rares that are up all right so we've cleared out this zone no rares were up no treasures either unfortunately so i think we'll move on i think we need a bit of gold um what have we got i think just a little bit of gold maybe we might go do this in the TBC zone, like in Outlands, just because you get a whole heap of really, really good BOEs and um, ore and stuff like that. Alrighty, so we're currently in Badlands and there's a whole heap of gold that will come useful. What else we got? So we got some Mithril and the true, true Silver. Awesome. And we'll see if there's any rares up and there's a couple chests that we can check. Alright, so I think we'll go back, we'll check the auction, uh, check our mailbox, see what sales we've got. We'll sort out all the trash here, we'll put up our rares that we got on the auction house. And I think we'll head over to the Outlands. Okay, so first things first, we'll bank all of our, our mining stuff. Don't want to sell that yet. Let's bank all of them, even the stones, the gems. Um, stones. What else do we have that we have just mined? Um, nothing else important. I had the true, true silver. Alright, that should be everything. There's our three, our three um, rares that we got, and we want to put that in the bank. Alright, so now. We can disenchant this other thing. We do not need that bracelet. We'll not sell. 
Alright, let's check the auction house. I mean, our mailbox. Oh, we've got some sales. What has sold the most? So we've got some wool has sold, some leathers, good stuff. Alright, so we'll get everything out and we'll actually first, before we do that, we'll go over here and we'll vendor our trash and stuff that we do not want on the auction house. So let's do that. So trash. That goes the trash. Let's go through the rest of it. No. 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 No, that won't sell. No. No. Alrighty. Everything else is good. And we're cheering. So I'll clear the mailbox. We'll get absolutely everything out. We'll get it all back up on the auction house so we can get some more sales rolling in. Righty, so we've got everything in the bags here. I think there must be stuff on the auction house also still. We'll get out the gold and we will we'll see what's on the auction house actually, real quick. What have we got? Do we still have stuff? Yeah, so we still have the 72,000 K worth. We'll post all of this up. And so we will be adding them BOEs that we got. And then we'll head over to Outlands, I think, and we'll do the same sort of farming over there just for rares while we mine and also look for treasures. And everything is posted and we're sitting at a healthy 154,000 gold worth on the auction house and we've got 1,533 gold in the bags and we've got a whole heap of materials in the uh, in our in our bank. I'll actually um I'll go over there now and I'll show you. We've got a whole heap of enchanting mats and then our then our mining stuff that we've just got. So we've got a whole heap of enchanting materials, some leftover enchantments, and then a whole heap of mining herbs too. So we are looking very very good at the moment. So I think we're gonna go over to Outlands and um and we'll do some rare some rare rare farming look while we're looking for treasures and also um, doing some mining and now how I do this you're gonna want two add-ons the add-on to find all the rare bosses is called true uh, silver dragon so yeah, as you can see right here and then the second one that shows me where all the treasures and the mining um, the mining nodes are is called gather mate 2 and so that basically, basically, we'll put all these things. See, that's all for copper on the map. It will put all that, and then silver dragon will put these like skull things, and it'll basically tell you where the um where the rares have a chance to spawn and be, and it also shows you their loot too. So it's very, very, very good add-ons together, and the treasures are just literally, as you can see, little treasure chests. And that's just locations where they have a chance to spawn. So what we do is just basically fly around the whole zone while we're mining, and we'll get notifications for the rare, for the rares that are around us. And then we also just keep an eye out for the treasures and check them more as we fly around. Now I recommend doing this once you're, once we've got fast flying. Obviously that's why we've just started now at level 40, and it's pretty good XP. So you can level why you um make a lot of gold and you have some chances to get some really really expensive transmog items pets and a whole heap of like mining nobs and everything like that from it it's a great way to make some gold and have a bit of fun on the side while we're in stormwind let's actually go get our transmog back back on point so let's get it all right i think we're gonna mix up the transmog and go to purple swords this looks really good i reckon Check it out. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Alright, so over to the Outlands. Let's go. Alright guys, so once we go in this portal, we'll be in the Outlands and we can start doing the rare farming. However, I think this is gonna be enough for this episode. So on next episode, that is what we'll be doing to start it off with. If you've been enjoying the episode so far and the series, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified for the new episodes. Anyways guys, take care.